Hello, the title of this research is Alleviative Effects of Pharodharmony Consciousness Field on Triticum Astiva Under Salinity Stress. My name is Sara Torabi. I have master's degree of plant physiology at University of Tehran. About 10 years ago, I became acquainted with the theory of pharodharmony consciousness field. The aim of this research is to determine the effects of pharodharmony consciousness field on adverse effects of salt stress in a spring with variety. Muhammad Ali Tahiri, as a researcher, founded two Iranian complementary medicine, pharodharmony and cymatology, for three decades and subjected it to various discussion and experience. He recently has established a research center called Cosmo Intel, which is the main monitoring center for consciousness fields research and studies based on science facts. The reason for naming science fact is because of its association with the world of science in the evidence that can be gained in experiments and laboratories. Science studies matter and energy. However, science fact exclusively studies the section that is neither matter nor energy. In fact, the world of science is seen as a tool for the emergence of science fact effects. According to Muhammad Ali Tahiri's theoretical concept, consciousness is one of the three elements of the universe, apart from matter and energy. By defining consciousness as neither matter nor energy, we cannot associate a quantity to it. Since consciousness isn't measurable, its existence can only be known through experience. In this theory, any living creatures, including plants and animals, can be cured by a human by connecting to internet-like facilities named Cosmic Consciousness Network, or CCN. In this type of affection, mind-matter interaction occurs through connecting to CCN by a pharotherapist. Pharodharmony establishes a consciousness bond between the whole consciousness and the parts where all constituents will be scanned and corrected. Although the mechanism of this linkage is not still definable by science, its consequences can be measured and studied scientifically. Since the placebo responses is one of the critical objections occurring when human beings are treated with complementary therapy, biochemical plant-based studies can be a suitable method to clarify the phenomenon. So, in this research, we screen the effects of pharodharmony on wheat plants. In arid and semi-arid areas of the world, salinity is considered as a major factor reducing crop productivity. Plant growth is adversely affected by multiple environmental stresses, including biotic like fungi, bacteria, viruses, and abiotic like low temperature, salt stress, drought stress. Among these, the salination of arable land is one of the key factors that threaten sustainability of agricultural industry. Thus, many studies attempt to explore processes contribute to plant survival under salt stress. It's well documented that plants which are exposed to biotic and abiotic stresses have biochemical change that exert oxidative damage through reactive oxygen species or rust. These free radicals disrupt cell membrane stability by peroxidation of polyunsaturated fatty acids in plant cell membranes and denature protein and nucleic acids. To alleviate adverse effects of salt stress, plants have developed diverse strategies that categorized as enzymatic like superoxide dismutase, peroxidase, polyphenol oxidase, and non-enzymatic, which directly scavenge rust, like glutathione 
ascorbate, flavonoids, etc. Plants with development of antioxidant system, which participate in rust scavenging, have better resistance to oxidative damage. In pharodermony, subjects of study become connected to consciousness field via pharotherapies by announcement. This exposure occurs without any kind of physical intervention. Since consciousness, according to Tahiri's concept, is neither matter nor energy, receiving this treatment is possible from close and far distances. In this research, we use the spring with variety. After sterilization, seeds were soaked in distilled water for 24 hours at room temperature, and six seeds were initially sown in plastic pots filled with perlite. After the germination, seedlings were thinned to five plants per pot. Before applying NaCl solution, each seedling received half a strength Hooglens nutrient solution, and the 16 day old seedlings were treated with salinity. To prevent osmotic shock, imposing salt stress started gradually by 50 millimolar NaCl solution every other day until 150 millimolar was attained. Initial pharodermony treatment occurred at the same time as adding the first NaCl solution. After three weeks, four leaves per replicate were collected for future analysis. Chlorophyll, hydrogen peroxide, malendialdehyde content, and activity of antioxidant enzymes such as superoxide dismutase, polyphenol oxidase, and peroxidase were measured in all groups of plants. Our results showed that chlorophyll A, B, and total chlorophyll content decreased with salt stress, while under the influence of pharodermony consciousness field, in saline condition, the contents of chlorophyll were increased. We also determined malendialdehyde content. Malendialdehyde or MDA, which is a product of lipid peroxidation, has been considered as an indicator of membrane destruction. Pharodermony treatments to salt stress plant decreased MDA by about 13%. It seems that pharodermony consciousness field has ameliorated membrane destruction, probably by scavenging rust and increasing chlorophyll content. As it can be seen in this graph, hydrogen peroxide content remained unchanged with salt stress. Whereas with pharodermony, both of treatments, including control and salinity treatments, showed significant enhancements by 100% and 57% respectively. Increase in hydrogen peroxide content with pharodermony coincided with increase in superoxide dismutase activity. Superoxide dismutase converts superoxide radical to hydrogen peroxide and molecular oxygen. It's possible that increase of hydrogen peroxide content is attributed to pharodermony induced enhancement of superoxide dismutase activity. This function may play a key role in mitigating oxidative damage because superoxide dismutase is the primary line of antioxidant system which participate in rust scavenging. We observe that pharodermony in saline condition decreased peroxidase activity. Peroxidase decomposes hydrogen peroxide produced by superoxide dismutase activity. These results suggest that hydrogen peroxide may take part in signaling network. The present result agrees with the results obtained by Kuzienk and Airbank in 2000, who reported in response to oxidative stress, hydrogen peroxide contributes to signal transduction, gene expression, and cellular defense. Like superoxide dismutase, pharodermony increased polyphenol oxidase activity, which participate in rust scavenging. From these results, 
it can be concluded that pharaohdharmonic consciousness field minimizes the negative effects of salt stress with evidence of increased activities of antioxidant enzymes, chlorophyll content, and less membrane damage. As it was mentioned at the beginning, consciousness isn't measurable. However, it's possible to investigate its effects by experiments. We suggest that other researchers repeat similar experiments with different plants. It seems that botanical bioassays are suitable for screening the effects of such treatments. Apart from the placebo responses by human beings, these assays can be beneficial to save time and resources. At the end, we would like to express our gratitude and appreciation to Dr. Samsarha for his helpful comments. And I wanted to thank Arizona Conference for excellent management at this pandemic issue and making it possible to be held online. And thanks for your attention.